Correct. Grandpa, Solomon Co. would have given me a good whooping. <laughs> but I think he would have liked the man I... What is it? Bye. I'm not afraid to use this to defend my home and my family. Sure as hell don't look like any spacer I've seen before. So let me get this straight. You heard a distress call and you flew all the way down here. What are you, some sort of priest or good Samaritan? I didn't know people like you were real. But I got a heap load of problems. And I'm willing to pay my share for the help. Sensible. Used to be four families that list help set up stakes in this system. We rarely saw eye to eye in the best of times, and believe me true, these ain't the best of times. Spacers started raiding and it's been getting worse. Only a matter of time before they end us all. <laughs> Unless you're willing to help some hard-working, pig-headed settlers out. The Wens and the Bandas are farmers like me. Jacqueline the Mare and her daughter have some mining operation with dreams of hitting it big. I've tried in the past to get us to work together, but you don't join List unless you have a healthy dollop of obstinacy. No arguments here. The Spacers have taken out the family's List satellites, so we can't even talk to each other. Isolate and eliminate, a classic tale. You fix the Lopez satellite, and I'll open a secure channel, and we can sync up and get the lay of the land. And then get all of our satellites operational. It might be I'm getting caught up in the moment. But I actually feel... <laughs> optimistic for once. Thanks.
right. Let's get this freight into space.
you. And here I thought you were some pirate coming back to kill me. Lucky me, right? Nah. Nah. I'll, I'll be alright. Just, you know, wasn't trying to move around too much with all the painkillers and nausea meds running through me. You should let us help you. There's no reason for you to have to suffer needlessly. Man. I was so terrified when I got pulled on board that pirate ship. There it was all. Sorry, brother. I'll get us out of this. Trust me. Oh, I'm getting to that. He tells me we need to start pretending to fight each other. <laughs> Trick the pirates into thinking they need to come in before one of us gets killed. I just remember him shouting, This kid is a killer. How am I supposed to defend myself against these pearly whites? He's gonna bite my face off. I mean, I didn't think it would work, but they came in. All of a sudden, we were wrestling with two of them. Barrett reached for one of their guns, Bingo. Blasted the pilot right in the back. <laughs> Through to the flight console. And dropped orbit like a rock off a high rise. <sighs> I blacked out. And when I came to, there he was. Smiling like it was just another day on the job. You missed the fun part, Heller. <laughs> I mean, I go through all the trouble of saving your butt, and you weren't even awake to notice. Then, he did the little finger gun thing. Oh yeah, probably should have talked about that first. <laughs> did I mention I'm on a lot of painkillers? So. I was real excited when a ship showed up. <clears throat> then, less excited when I realized it was a Crimson Fleet ship. And then, really, really less excited when Barrett said, It's okay, I got this. He mumbled something to him, and then they were all gone. I was drifting in and out, but yeah, I think so. Got a signal from the ship before they grab jumped. Guessing it was Barrett. Haven't really been in a good <coughs> space to have a listen. Here you go. Hey, uh, uh, I should come with you, right? I don't think anyone else is coming. Yeah, just, uh, don't ask me to operate any heavy machinery for a while. Ugh, give me a minute. I think the worst of it is... Yeah, I'll be all right. I'll be all right. Let me know when you want to head out. being attacked causing trouble isn't that just fighting back hey pilot could you move your arm a little bit to the left i can't make out the console don't move he's trying to figure out our destination probably transmitting this conversation right now while we're still in orbit well yeah thought i was making that pretty obvious okay okay put the gun down i'm done see my retinas are pointing away from the console and towards this lovely view of space we have out the window. Tie him up. 
Once we get back to the base, the fun starts. Remember our last conversation, when you told me the artifacts made you feel like you were being pulled across the entire galaxy? Well, it got me thinking, so I dove into our archives and started looking through Constellation's older journal entries. Just because I wasn't familiar with the experience you described, doesn't mean the same might have been true for my predecessor. Really? I'm surprised that I haven't. After reading those journals, all of the pleasant memories of my time spent with Arja just started flooding back. Arja Mamasa. She was the youngest member of Constellation when it was founded. Only took her 15 years to reach chair. Sorry, I sometimes get so caught up in my own bubble, I forget that I wasn't the first. Well, there's no reason to be jealous. They were just, I don't know, different times. Arja was the one that taught me the ropes at Constellation and took me under her wing as her protege. Hey. So I pinched a few ideas for my old boss. <laughs> Can you blame me? At any rate, we logged quite a few discoveries together, but it was the actual journey that I cherished the most. Exactly. For me, it was all about the quieter moments. There was nothing quite like sitting back and watching space bend while listening to Arja spin vivid stories to fill the time. Oh, I find that sort of cozy isolation the best way to really get to know someone. Yeah, you know, being alone in interstellar space, nothing but light years of black around you. Some people find that terrifying. I find it comfortable. It helps me bond with my shipmates. I'll take that as a compliment. Thank you. You know, all this talk about Arja reminds me that my time with her was a gift. I miss her dearly. No. She retired. Living on Porima 2 now, I think. Come to think of it, if we're ever out that far, perhaps we could pay her a visit and I could make proper introductions. Well, I don't expect you to be a carbon copy of Aja. Just be yourself. You see, it's clear that we share the same hunger to discover what's out there, and that well, that's what intrigues me about you. I... I don't know if I deserve to be that close to anyone right now. If you knew about the things that I've done, the way my life's unfolded, I think your opinion of me might change. Please, give me some time. I... I, I, I have to go. Still think there might be a spot for... Phew. Oh, I'm glad to hear you say... You got it. Catch you on the flip side, boss. Thanks for letting me tag along.
deck. Weapons free. Let's take him down. We got a rook on deck. Good to see Constellation getting some fresh blood. Glad you two finally have a chance to meet. Wish I could have been down at the lodge to see the artifacts come together. But I got a little lost peeking through the eye. Probably would have just gotten annoyed at being bothered. I'll catch a smile at our next big revelation. You know there's more to come. Now, this station, the Eye, rigged up for deep space scans. Barrett and Sarah teased out the signs of where our artifacts could be hiding after we caught our second one. But the data takes a slow ride along the Sea of Light. Years or decades between us and the fringes of space without a grav drive. You won't be the only constellation out there. 
Andreja and Matteo are both following up on scans themselves. Matteo went out recently, but Andreja... It's been a while. Hate to pull a worried old man act on you, but... I'm an old man, and... I'm worried. Yes, indeed. Stop worrying so much, Vladimir. If she's out there, we'll find her. She should be at one of the two sites I've marked on your star map. Can take care of herself, but we all need backup sometimes. Anyway, hopefully you'll be catching Fortune's smile, and we'll have some more artifacts to take a closer look at. Happy hunting. Show the words another time, then. I'm listening. Talk to you later.
and we'll get underway. Separation? Watch your flaring. So, miss, stay up late reading under the covers? Did you learn anything new from your book last night? <laughs> Don't pretend to be mad at me. I know you aren't really. I learned that back on Earth, people used to use the stars to navigate. That's so cool. But I guess it only worked because they just lived on one planet. And that sounds boring. Remind me one of these days to tell you the tale of a certain soldier where his stargazing. Him.
appears we found some type of mining operation. Don't come any closer. Identify yourself. Ah, oh, good. I suppose I should have guessed. It has been too long since I checked in. I'm just glad we found you unharmed, Andresia. Vladimir and I were worried. You are the newest member, yes? Do they often send you to check up on other, more senior members? I suppose. And yet you are here. Instead of checking up on Barrett or Noel. We waste time. We should complete our mission and then we can talk. started cracking rocks at a mining facility like this. Isn't that right, Dusty? reminds me of the first one I ever explored near Pavonis Mons on Mars. Please proceed with caution. There is heavy machinery operating in this area. Come, then. meet 
You can't hope to win. You can't. 
cannot beat me. This is certain to make us both Neither very happy indeed. That off. not respond when I called to you after you pulled out the artifact. Does that mean Barrett's theory and experience were correct? The artifact grants the first person who touches it a vision? The fact that it has happened to both you and Barrett is already more than we had before. I think it is important that we discuss what you saw back there. That man. What I had done. It was, yes. I appreciate that you see it that way. A very practical outlook, not one I find is shared amongst members of Constellation. May I ask what your background is? Argos. I have heard of this company. Small, reckless. Interesting. I do not have experience with this profession, but I have my own experiences with... risk. We both seem to be 
unusual additions to Constellation. Please, I would ask that you not mention to Vladimir the, the circumstances in which you found me. This is not the first time that Varun zealots have attempted to corner me. If it is known that this has happened again, well, it has been a while since I was given an assignment on my own. I would not want it to be even longer in the future. Do you understand? Mom, this means we are in agreement. Thank you. That is good to know. I will finish here and return to New Atlantis when I can. You should go now, as they will be expecting us. I will meet you back at the lodge. We're here. Perhaps we could spend a bit of time relaxing rather than planning? I am at your service, Captain. Yeah.
Bye for now. I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. Bartender at the viewport would stop complaining to security. I don't know what she lost, but she won't get it back by annoying us. I'm sorry, I really can't afford to be distracted. I need to get to the bottom of this. Yes, concerned is an understatement. I work for the scientific division of MAST. I've been studying this tree for quite some time, and it appears to be exhibiting some worrying signs. Are you familiar with this particular specimen? Do you understand its importance? Look, I have a lot of work to do here. If you're just going to gawk, I'd ask that you move on. If you can actually assist me, however, I would appreciate it. I don't normally solicit help from random passersby, but it seems an exception is necessary. Would you be willing to retrieve some additional data for me? Well, that's... Thank you. That's unexpected. Ah. There's a series of biosensors I've placed in various locations around New Atlantis, all calibrated to gather pertinent information. They've been running for long enough that I think it's time to collect and analyze their findings. If you would bring them to me, that would save time.
Ooh, that jump looked painful. Not doing that. Hey, are you looking for eggs too? I've only found one so far, but I want to find more before anyone else does. So if you see some, can you tell me? Yeah, it was. Weird, right? Miss Seng over at UC Distribution bought the one I found, and she said she might buy more if I can find them. I could really use the credits. Nice to meet you. The well's been having brownouts all the time. Mast finally sent someone down there, but nothing's changed. I'm pleased to report that our stocks are currently being maintained at 90% or higher. I'm sure we have anything you might need. Welcome to UC Distribution. Now, before you say a word, I am required to inform you that formal complaints cannot be filed until the customer feedback system is back online. I have been told it'll be up and running in two weeks, but you know how these things are. I am sorry for any potential inconvenience. Also, if you're here about a corporate account, I've been assured that deliveries will be back on schedule soon. Who, Jordan? <laughs> that kid's in here every other day with some random thing he found. Trying to get credits. Yeah, I took pity on him. Why, what is it? Oh, really? Well... You can have it back for what I paid for it, plus a little extra. Let's call it a convenience fee, shall we? Pleasure doing business with you. Oh, well, certainly. Right, right. Come back if you need something else.
finally back with our son. I don't need any luck tracking down those sensors. So you do. Wonderful. I'll just take these, and we'll see what they have to tell us. All right. We'll just upload the data. Give it a moment. And just another moment. Oh. It is working, isn't it? Ah, there it is. Relief. Now, let's see. This is... Well, it's... Oh, my. Well, there's good news and bad news. The good news is that my suspicions were correct. There is something wrong with the tree. I will report my findings to Mast immediately with no small amount of satisfaction. The phrase, I told you so, may even be uttered more than once. Well, from a certain point of view. In an admittedly somewhat selfish manner. The bad news, as it were, is that the internal composition of the tree is changing. In this particular case, the tree is now regularly emitting ultra-low frequency sound waves. They're nearly imperceptible now, but they're growing in strength. This is something we've never observed before. Depending on how large these waves grow, consequences for the city could be... Well, disastrous. I must consult with my colleagues in MAST at once. Thank you for your assistance. I hope these credits are adequate compensation. What can I help you with? Until later. Away, or do you need a this is Freestar time? Collective Space. Hold while we scan your ship. That's all we need. You're cleared for landing at Aquila City.
Gear looks green, ready to land. Dad, have you ever tried Aurora? All right, we're here. You ready? Because once we get started, I'm gonna be riding your tail till this is over. There's uh, something you should know up front. I'm a Ko. As in Solomon Ko, first man on Aquila. That tail I mentioned before, the one I think is connected to an artifact, it's something of a family legend. After Planetfall, Solomon spent years mapping Aquila, and he found a tiny little patch of nothing on his sensors. The kind of nothing an artifact produces. He called it the Empty Nest. Said it was a place even the wildlife of Aquila wouldn't go. Solomon's maps are locked up tight in the local Gal Bank. We'll be heading there. Hold it. By order of Marshal Daniel Blake, I need to inform you we've got some trouble at Gal Bank. Folks might be in danger, so you may want to steer clear. Never a dull moment around here. I know you. You're Sam Coe. Marshal will be damn glad to have another Free Star Ranger helping out. Afraid your information is a couple years out of date. Well, all I know is there was an attempted bank robbery and things went sideways. You'd have to ask the Marshal if you want the whole story. I guess that'd be the Marshal's call. Frankly, it ain't going well. Looks to be a stalemate. Maybe a little outside help would do some good. Well, I doubt those robbers are gonna let us leisurely peruse the Galbank vault. We better see if we can help move the situation along. Security around here is You planning to tell me your demands at some point? Sure everything will turn out just will. fine. Like who? Not you, not one of your rangers, and not these city guards, neither. <sighs> what the hell am I supposed to do with that? You need to stand back now. I don't mean to be rude, but I don't know you. Now please, stand back. Aquila City at its finest, I see. Never a dull moment. Well, I'll be damned. Sam Cole. Been a long time. I won't hold my breath about you being here to take the badge again. Uh, listen, Sam, just so you know, I don't blame you for how it went down. For the others, though, you might get a different reception. Thanks. I appreciate you saying so. But I figure some of that reception is owed. Still, I appreciate the sentiment, Marshal. It seems you got a situation. My friend here may be the answer you're looking for. All right, Sam. I'll trust your judgment on this one. Some folks from the Shaw Gang tried to rob the place, but they got spotted by a guard. They took everyone inside hostage, and now they're keeping a watch so we can't move against them. They're using the intercom to communicate. They won't talk to me. Say they don't trust the badge. <laughs> they want a neutral negotiator. In other words, they didn't have a plan for this, so they're stalling while they come up with one. Hmm. All right, I'm willing to allow that. But a few things first. Say what you have to, but 
Whatever they ask for, there's no way in hell I'm giving it to them. Also, there are lives at stake, so don't get cavalier. Find out what they want, and then report back to me. Take it slow and steady. Look for every opportunity to de-escalate. You got this. Hey, you in the bank. I'm sending in a negotiator, so don't shoot. Hands where I can see him. Nothing we can do. Don't try nothing. My husband's in there. He's one of the hostages. You're the negotiator, huh? If you think you're just gonna walk up here and get us to surrender, you're dead wrong. It's Jed. Jed Bullock. Well, ain't you polite. So tell me, stranger, how do I know you're gonna deal straight with us? <laughs> I don't know you, so why should your word mean anything to me? We've been in worse scrapes than this. We can handle being stuck in a bank. I... I see what you mean. Well... I guess you have a point. We're staying as long as it takes. Nothing you say is gonna change my mind, so let's just move on. We want to guarantee a safe passage to the spaceport and a ship. We'll drop the hostages off somewhere safe in the system. After that, we'll radio back where they are, and the Marshal and his crew can come and get them. But if anybody follows us when we break orbit, we start shooting people. Got it? Oh, hell, the Freestar Rangers have got ships. They can give us one of them. <sighs> this whole damn job's gone wrong. It was supposed to be just a quick hit. Clean is simple, you know? So let's just... Let's all try to keep our heads, yeah? Because my guys, they're going crazy in here. I don't know how much longer we can last. What do you mean? It's up to the marshal to make sure the hostages don't get hurt. Sometimes bad things happen to innocent people. That's life. Damn it. I didn't think of it that way. If the hostages die, it'll be the Marshal's fault for not taking us seriously. Nah, it's too late to back out now. We're seeing this through. You go tell the Marshal to get that ship ready so we can all walk away from this thing without anybody getting hurt. Those guys are scared. I can tell. I heard every word. He's talking too loud. Sign of fatigue. All that fear and exhaustion are taking a toll. They're not thinking straight. That puts us in a very precarious position. Yeah, you're right. You gave those boys a chance, but now they have to lie in the bed they made. Problem is, they're keeping me and the guards in sight at all times. If we try to move against them, they'll see us coming. You'd be willing to do that? You've got guts, that's for damn sure. I can't deny that you're right, though. They might not see that coming. Now, I see two ways we can play this. You could ask to see the hostages. Once you're inside, you can make your move. If you're quick, I think you can take them out before they have a chance to respond. But you'll have to shoot to kill. There's also a back door. 
Most of their attention's focused out front here, so they may not be watching it as closely. This key should unlock it. I'm sure things will turn out just fine. Great. Got my girlfriend in there. If she gets hurt.
We won't be able to find Solomon's maps with those robbers trapped in the bank. So long. To the victor goes the spoils. I said that right, right? Let's see if we can push the situation at Galbag along a bit. Just a couple of thugs with itchy trigger finger. Yeah, I was done too. Thank you so much. We should wait until folks are okay before we go digging through the family safe deposit boxes. Guess we're done. Now I have two heroes. Solomon Co. and you. We owe you everything. The Marshal gives you a big reward. They've got the mark. I heard the fires. The hostages, are they safe? Is that so? Shame it had to come to that. But you got the job done and saved lives. Here, you've more than earned this. You got us out of a tough spot, and you did it with courage that's not common. As a matter of fact, you might just be Freestar Ranger material. If you're interested, head on over to The Rock and ask for Emma Wilcox. She handles the new recruits. All right. Now that lives aren't on the well line, done. let's get back in well Galbag and see if we can get those maps. family has a few different deposit boxes secured in here, so let's look around. Here's a copy of the key. Okay, now remember, Solomon was from an earlier generation, so it's not gonna be on a slate. Big bundles of paper is what we're after.
All right, let's see. Jacob. Of course that old mule saw this coming. There we do. I was hoping to avoid the estate when we landed. Cora's gonna be so mad. We really gotta do this. You're not wrong. It's not supposed to be your business. That's what... Yeah, you're not wrong. <sighs> All right, fine. He's my dad, okay? We're not exactly on friendly terms. He probably figured I'd come for the maps at some point. Got ahead of me. Family business just wasn't something I wanted to get into, you know? Yeah, well, sorry I'm such a pain about it. No forgiveness between me and my old man. It's, uh... Code tradition. All right, shall we? I've had quite enough excitement for now. Breathing? Back to normal yet? Mostly. Still feels a little weird, though. I guess I'm not used to having to do that. Walked in and tried to rob the place in broad daylight? Need something? You got some business with me? Oh. Well, if the marshal sent you to me, that means he's looking to recruit you. Just so you know what you're getting into. I'll explain who we are and what we do. Well, the Free Star Rangers, and we might hunt down a fugitive, whatever needs doing to keep the people. Like most things that are worth doing, it ain't all. But 
Do I think we make the Freestar Collective a little safe? I imagine you've got some questions. See you. Well, hey there. That's The Rock, Ranger Central. Not a bad part, too. I'm just saying, my family was on the first ship. A mirror wolf at the low house could really use someone helpful like you. finally decides to darken our doorstep again. You know why I'm here. Oh? <laughs> and what's that? You come to your senses? Realize where you ought to be for once? I ain't asking again. You ain't asked once. Let's hear it. I want you to say the words about what's more important to you than family. Okay, this was a mistake. The only mistake I'm seeing here is you. Bringing your constellation lackey here instead of my granddaughter. Come to help Sam loot his ancestry? You're not getting those maps. Full stop. I got just as much right to those maps as anyone else in this family. That's exactly right, Sam. We all share Solomon's legacy. Only some of us are around to live up to it, and some of us aren't. All right, that's enough. Come on, let's you and I talk. In private. Hmm. Welcome home, Sam. Make your visit short, okay? It's what you do. I'm up for a little adventure. Give me a sec. <sighs> All right, let's talk options. No, no, no. I mean, this is no place for her, okay? The less time she spends with Jacob, the better. I just... I made a decision a long time ago about how my little girl gets raised. And it doesn't include Jacob Coe, okay? Leave it at that. Damn it. Fine, fine, fine. Look, we'll go get her. I just, if there's any other options, I'd appreciate doing those first. What do you want, Constellation? Well, that's not your decision, is it? It's called property by birthright. It stays here. You may think so, but I don't. Solomon did more than just... You really believe that, don't you? That's family business. I'm not flapping my jaw one more second over this. The answer's no. Sam's constellation. Yeah, that's right.
both of you out of my house. Happy to. All right, let's see if we can find the empty nest. All right, let me think. The way I heard it, the readings he was getting were normal at first, then they bottomed out. There. Found it. Oh, boy. <sighs> That's a problem. First, it's in the middle of the frontier, which we already expected. No problems there, but the usual tussling with alien wildlife. But the empty nest is a cave right in the middle of Shagang territory. Same outlaws who held up Galbank. Well, just remember, it's about the artifact, not them. Hurting bad guys puts a smile on your face, that's a bonus. Let's get to that cave. Duh. They grow up so fast. That your ship that landed not too long ago? Sure you really gone through with it? I get tired to Hopefully, not something you see. a big old sign. Danger. If they open up the gate and go out.
This is Shaw Gang territory. And they're usually not willing to talk. Be ready. Blood pumping, huh? Never mess with a code. Another enemy down.
company, I think. Grizzly, but part of the job. Smugglers use caves like this everywhere. Sometimes you get lucky and find the damnedest things around. I think that's far enough. Hate to put a hole in the head of Akila's own prodigal son. At least not before we've had a word. You must be Shaw. What I am is disappointed. Samco in the flesh and he's peddling around the frontier with the has-beens of Constellation. Now you got past my crew, who I pay quite handsomely, I might add. Grabbed something from that weird cave. Probably whatever's been keeping the Ashta away. So... I'm down one hideout. Now, let's talk about what all that's worth to me. Your lives, your credits. One or the other, really. Oh, really? Let's hear it. 
Huh. The Shaw Gang's name in print outside a wanted poster does sound nice. Easy. Maybe this doesn't have to get ugly. <laughs> Fine. Get the hell out of here before I change my mind. I see you again. You're dead. You. This is your fault. You better lend us a hand. We're in one piece. I'll call that a win. You are satisfied with the quarters available to you. Just, what are we building here? I haven't picked up any kind of frequency or signal coming from it. That doesn't mean much. This thing could be emitting something we can't even detect. As far as we know, we could be building a gigantic bomb that will blow up as soon as we finish it. Or maybe it's some kind of interstellar children's toy. Why would either of those things give the Discoverer visions and music? It's a message. I'm sure of it. We just have to hope that finding more of the pieces will give us some clue. I hear that. Moving forward sometimes means fumbling around in the dark. I think Cora and I can use some downtime, but you let me know if you ever want to team up again. Oh, and since it tends to come up, me and my Rugrat co-pilot work as a team. That's non-negotiable. If I'm coming with, that means Cora's on your ship. Likewise, you know where to find us. I asked Mateo if we could get a friend for Bosco. He said maybe. You've got but something for I'm me? I'm pretty sure he was just saying. I'm glad you're back. Let's get moving. Hey, 
It's always a good day when you come around. Hmm? Actually, yes, I do. Here you are. Maybe another time. <laughs>